Super League Grand Final, Bateman is hoping for glory. Image, Getty After roaming the streets of his native Bradford with a gang of childhood friends, he was arrested for fighting. The Wigan and England forward can recall how upset it made his mum. That was over a decade ago and Bateman has come a long way since then, establishing himself as one of the best rugby league players in the world. He will make his final appearance for Wigan in Saturday's grand final against Warrington before a big money move to Canberra Raiders. Heading to the NRL will cap a remarkable rags-to-riches journey for the 25-year-old second rower. I used to hang about with a group of mates and we would cause trouble in some pretty rough areas of Bradford, said Bateman, reflecting on his humble beginnings. When I was about 14, I got locked up for fighting and it obviously wasn't my proudest moment. I remember sitting there in a palace cell and seeing how upset my mum was. It made me realize how much doing daft things can affect the people around you. But everyone in life has made bad choices at some point, it's about learning from them. Super League Grand Final, Bateman in action for England. Image, Getty, Bateman could have easily gone off the rails. But his ability on a rugby league field, coupled with the arrival of his daughter Mill when he was just 16, gave him a focus. A professional contract at Bradford Bulls, the club he grew up supporting, the sent him on the road to the very top. Bateman said, I actually wanted to be a fireman and, after finishing my GCSEs, I went with my mum to enroll at a college course, I got a call to say I had been accepted, but the following day Bradford said they wanted to sign me on full-time. Around that time, Millie arrived and knew I had to grow up. Some of the lads I used to knock about with are now in prison. Bateman made his Super League debut for the Bulls at 17 and rapidly emerged as one of the best young prospects in the game. Super League Grand Final, Bateman was arrested for fighting. Image, Getty, at the end of 2013, Wigan but him and he has thrived under Sean Wayne. Bateman said, coming to a world-renowned club like Wigan was quite daunting, especially as they had just won the double. Moving over by myself probably helped me grow up a lot because it was a massive learning curve. Joining Wigan was actually one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life, not just in rugby. My mom probably couldn't thank Wayne and Wigan enough for what they have done for me. Super League Grand Final, Wigan beat Castleford Tigers in the semi-final. Image, Getty, Super League Grand Final, Steven Gerrard paid a visit to Wigan Warriors. Image, Getty, Bateman is close to his head coach but his biggest influences are mum Bev and elder brother Kyle. Bateman explained, Kyle is the first person I speak to after every match and if I've not played well he will tell me, my mum is the same, she's clued up, and like Kyle she has always been there for me through thick and thin, she would always make sure we had clothes on our back, so it's nice to be able to make her life a bit easier now, I bought her a car when she passed her test. She didn't want to take it but she's my mum and I'll always be grateful to her. Super League Grand Final, Bateman, Wright, says his mum has been there through thick and thin. Image, Getty, the dream scenario for Bateman, Wayne, Sam Tompkins and Ryan Sutton is a grand final win this weekend before they head off to pastures new. Bateman, who was back in Bradford on Sunday to see his boyhood club promoted to the championship with victory over Workington at Odzil. He was reunited with a number of former Bulls teammates, including fellow Bradford Ian Elliott Whitehead who he will join at Canberra. Bateman added, Elliott used to give me a lift to training at Bradford when I was starting out, if you had said to me back then that I would be playing with him for England and at the same club in Australia, I'd have left. Super League Grand Final, Wigan Warriors will have to be at the top of their game to be champions. Image, Getty, it's fantastic though, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm doing it for my daughter and my family, but you've got to want to do it for yourself in order to make people proud of you, but I'll never forget where I've come from because it's made me the person I am today, it has given me the mentality that I will always fight my battles and want to come out the other side, beating Warrington on Saturday would be the fairy tale finish before I move to Australia, Wigan centre Oliver Gildart has been called into the England squad for the autumn test series against New Zealand.